A series of heavy rainstorms falling on frozen ground in January 2005 caused untreated sewage to pile up four feet deep in Burliner Park, spilling across I-71. Following that disastrous storm, Ohio State researcher Karen Mansell began studying ways to reduce stormwater and sanitary sewer overflow around Columbus. The sewer overflows into this creek, which eventually flows into the Olentangy River. When you're riding your bike or jogging along the bike path, often you can smell sewage because it's overflowing into the river. This is a big problem in the city of Columbus and in other cities. Stormwater runoff contaminates streams and rivers with ammonia, phosphorus, bacteria, and other pathogens that can make us sick and spur the growth of toxic blue-green algae, which closed Grand Lake St. Mary's and other Ohio lakes to recreation and fishing last summer. Bioreactor filter technology has actually been around for more than a century. That's when farmers used it. What we do is we pour wastewater into the uh, system and it flows down through the sand and microbes that colonize the surface of the grains of sand remove the pollutants. The Ohio EPA is responsible for keeping our waterways clean. The agency is following this testing process closely. There are a lot of natural processes that go on in traditional wastewater treatment plants but this is applying it a little bit differently. The benchmark studies are very, very promising, which is one reason that we allowed it to go forward. If it's approved, it would be up to communities to push to get this kind of technology in place. Meteorologist Ben Galbert, NBC4, Columbus.